Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Nur Fatini Zakira, a student from University Sultan Zainal Abidin, UNISA. My metric number is BTAL 18049701. So in today's video, I will share to you guys on how to create or make your own compiler. So for the first step, before we start creating the compiler, we will need to install some things to ensure the compiler is working. Where to download it? Scroll down my video, I'll share the download link in this video description. So for the first one, we will need to install the JDK 8 and then the NetBeans IDE version 8.2 where we will run the code for the compiler and then the ANTLR which stands for another tool for language recognition, editor plugin and Java library to make sure the compiler can be read in the NetBeans. So first, open your NetBean to install ANTLR plugin. So we go to Tools here and click Plugins. Go to Download it, Add Plugins. And we add the one that we have downloaded before. So in my term, I have downloaded. But then uh, you have to click Install and then Close. So next, we want to create a Java application project. So we need to go to File, click New Project. And then make sure the category is Java and the project is Java application. And give a name to your project. For me, I'll put my metric number. And then click Finish. Then we need to add a NTLR jar library. So first we go to library here and then add jar. We're going to add the one we downloaded before, this. So for the next step is create grammar file. So we go to the package, right click and click new empty file and then give a name there whatever name but make sure to have a dot g4 at the end this this is a compulsory and then click finish so yeah so now go to the link i've shared in my description select all and then copy to our grammar file here but then you have to change some items such as the name of the file so i'm gonna do it grammatini like this and then the package we need to follow our package here okay so for the next step we want to modify build.sml so we're gonna find it here in files so click this, Let's say we will see the build SML here, double click on it, scroll down and then here, you need to go to the link I shared, this, and start to copy from target until the close target, like this, and then copy, paste it into, net, into the net bin here. But then you have to change the location. So where to where to find this location? You can go to here and right click your jar and edit. So this is the path of your jar. Copy and then paste it here. And then our next step is to change the slash like this all of the slash there in the path and next is this one the compiler we need to change it as our package and then the name of the grammar must be the same so my is grammatini 
And then we need to clean and build the net bin. So this step is just as simple as click run and then clean and build project here. And then the output will start to appear. And you will see at the side, there are so many files that will appear when you clean and build. So next we want to create our source code. Open your compiler file where you have downloaded many things and right click and then click new text document here and then give it a name so that we can easily find it later so I'm gonna name it after my metric number and then so I'll put my source code here And then I'm going to save this file. So next we go to our netbin to modify the main function at java file to compile and execute the source code we done just now. So first we click on our java file here. So then here under the package, we will need to import some things into our file. So next we will have to write a try and catch here. So next, open the link that I've shared in the description below. The one that have a try and catch in the writing. This one. And then, copy it onto here. And then we will paste it into our try and catch. Like this. So next we will see some error here. So for the Lexer, we are going to change it based on the name here. Same goes for the parser. So next we will change this path to the one where we put our source code. Then we will run the project and then we will get the answer in the output here. So now let's try to change the source code in our text document here. Change the code any way you like. So we clean and build it first, and then we will run the project. So basically, we will get a new value here. So now, can we run this project out of the netbin? 
Of course, you can so you can clean and build the project again. Then you will see the last line here. Copy that and open the command prompt and try to paste it there. So we will get the answer as the same as we got in the netbin before. And also you can try to do this. Click on the path and replace it with arcs zero and try to clean and build again. And then the build will be successful like this. But then if you use the same technique here, use the last line like this and then copy to common prompt. The result will be error like this because they, they do not know where to find our source code. So if you want to do the arc zero, you want to use it, you will have to copy the path here, the source code path, like this, and go to the common prompt after the link that you copy from the clean and build. You will have to add the source code file like this, and then yeah, you will get the answer. So that's all from me on creating your own compiler. Thank you for listening, thank you for viewing, and hope you guys can learn something from this video. And for all the links that I used in this video, I have put it in my description below. So I hope you guys can try it someday. So thank you.